Welcome to the Logon and Navigation Tutorial by Brad Moore of Global Renoscope. You can log on to any one of the systems by clicking the available link from the GRASS Info Center. In this case, I will be selecting GRASS 003. We are now prompted for your GRASS username and password. This is the home page for GRASS 003. You can see we have four interface modes to choose from. Regular mode, advanced mode, teacher's console, and the student and guest console. Regular mode is a simplified version of advanced mode. It allows you to take a single image or set up a color series but does not support scripting. Advanced mode is our full feature rich interface. It allows you to take a single image, set up a color series, or execute an imaging run with a script. Teacher's console provides all the tools needed to allow the teacher to demonstrate the GRASS system inside their classroom. The student and guest console allows the student to log on to our systems in real time and view the teacher's session. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the reservation system. You can see the local system time is October the 10th, 2007 at 5.22. This table below shows you the pending reservations for the system. As you can see, the next reservation is on October the 11th, 2007, at 2.15 a.m. in the morning. For this demonstration today, I will be using regular mode. As you can see, GRASS 3 is now loaded. This may take between 10 seconds and 60 seconds to fully load. Please be patient. We have three key areas to our web page layout. The header, the left hand side navigation menu, and the main window. The header contains which mode you're logged on to, in our case, regular mode, the system you have logged on to, GRASS 003, and who you've logged on as, in our case, Brad Moore. The left hand menu allows you to select the task you wish to carry out. For instance, a single image, or maybe a color series, or to view the welcome message, or to see the system status. By default, when you first log on to the system, the system status is displayed. You can also collapse the menu by clicking this button here. You can also expand the menu by clicking the button again. In some cases, in the advanced mode, you may find a menu system collapsed. So all you need to do is click the button to expand it to see the contents. Below the left hand menu, you will see three buttons. Release Observatory, Abort Script, and Control the Observatory. When you first log on, you can control the observatory by clicking this button. This prevents any other user from running an imaging session or starting a script. Once you click the Control Observatory button, billing will commence. The observatory will automatically be controlled if you commence a single image run, a color series, or execute a script in advanced mode. 
Let's control the observatory by clicking on the Control Observatory button. As you can see, I have control of the observatory and billing has commenced. If we're running an imaging script, we can also abort this by clicking the Abort Script button. You can also release the observatory and stop billing by clicking the Release Observatory button. Sometimes you will see buttons and links in the main content window. In this case, you can see there is a welcome message button. You can click on the button to reveal the message. You can click on the button again to hide the message. Also in this case, you can see the pre last preview image. You can also click on the last preview image button to close the image, or you can click on the button again to open the image. In this example, you can also see the last image taken with GRASS 3. You can also hide this image by clicking the button here. You can open the image again by clicking the button again. This now concludes the logon and navigation tutorial.